Hey guys, hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. Uh, yesterday I was reading this trading book from 2003. Uh, the name slips my mind, there's just so many of them. And it, they're, like I'm three quarters way into this book, I'm, I'm going through the whole thing. And there are like two lines that I, I read and I, I wrote down, and at first I didn't think much of it, and then I just realized it was like literally the most insane thing I've, I've ever learned. And it, is a complete mind shifter for me in terms of removing emotion from trading. Now, everyone knows, you know, you should remove emotion from your trading. It's a very basic concept. It's like what you learn on day one of technical analysis or trading or whatever. Um, it's just like super rudimentary. And, you know, you try to do it and you get better at it over time. But there was this one thing I learned that was just like this huge quantum leap for me. And what it was, was thinking about your trades. I had this one trade in uh, US SGD the other day. It was like a $20,000 trade and I freaking missed it by like 40 minutes. It like, ah, uh, really, uh, it was something. It was, it was something. And um, I, I was having trouble getting over that until I read this and then I started like actually thinking about it. And what it is, is instead of thinking of trades as wins, or as losses, which have really like a lot of emotion tied to them. You think of like winning, what do you think of? You think of like a carnival or you think of um, a lottery or an arcade, I don't know, whatever you think of when you think of winning or versus when you think of losing, you think of, um, you know, failing a test or uh, falling or losing a race. Um, you know, there are all these emotions tied to winning and losing that most people used to describe their trades, you know, was this a winner? Was this a loser? How many winners did I have this month? How many losers did I have this month? And that's how I've always described my trades because how else would you describe your trades, right? But that's actually like super like tightly tied to emotion and that's why it's, it's very difficult, especially when you start to increase size and increase set point to remove emotion from trading at a very deep level until you do one very, very, very simple thing. And what you wanna do is instead of using the word win or lose when you describe your trades, when you think about your trades, when you talk about your trades or whatever, use the words income and expense. And now all of a sudden everyone always knows, you know, you should think about trading as a business. So you should run your trading like you know, you're the casino or you're the business or whatever. Um, but what you wanna do is if you think of like your successful investments as income, and then you think of you know not successful investments as expenses. All of a sudden, I mean, income has it's like such a low emotion word. It's like oh yeah, I worked this week and I got a paycheck and that's my income. And expense is such a low emotion business word. It's like okay, I had this business trip. I better expense it off the corporate account, or you know I I got this uh, item that I'm gonna sell, so I better expense it and I'll report the revenue as income. It's so much less tied to emotion because it's just a fundamental business word and it it's insane. I just started doing it yesterday and I just had this epiphany this morning that like all the emotion I had tied up with a couple of these trades uh, over the past couple of weeks that were like, I don't know, excess of six figures or so that I like, you know, didn't exactly have perfect execution on. Like, I don't, I, 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 you know, I used to, I was like worried a bunch about it and I was like stressing over it and now it's just, it, it, it's gone. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's really phenomenal. And it's given me a lot of mental clarity and it's just, it's so much better than using win or loss. You just delete those words from your vocabulary and only use the words income and expense to describe your investments and especially your active investments. It, it's just a complete game changer. So try it for a week. I guarantee it'll totally change the way that you psychologically perceive the investments you make on an active basis. And really, really help you uh, achieve a lot more mental clarity and thereby more success with your investments. So yeah, I can't believe it took me so long to think uh, to, to do that. And it took a book from 2003 to get me to realize this, but but these two words are absolutely, I got it written on my wall. That's why I keep looking at my wall. Um, I, I have <laughs> like write these down on a sticky note or something and just stick it like right in the middle of your computer. It, 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 seriously, this is really, is phenomenal. Um, no matter what stage of investing or trading that you're at, using income and expenses instead of other ways to describe your trades, it, it will work wonders. It is amazing. It completely removes like 90, 95% of emotion from your investments. So really good strategy. So try it out. And uh, if it works for you, let me know. Thanks. Bye.